time. <gasps> I told you it was going to take a second longer just because. Awesome. It's raining. Well, it looks like we still have about 30 seconds, maybe more. Up oh, there it is. Now it's right on time. What's up, everybody? Y'all are hearing me talk to myself. Bless it. But after a whole decade together, you're not surprised, are you? Well, I am super excited about today's guest. We've been getting a lot of requests to learn more about CBD. On top of that, a lot of y'all have questions about CBD that I also had about CBD. And guess who answered those questions for me? My friend Joe. Um, and I actually learned so much more than I ever thought. Like, because one question leads to another question, which leads to another question. So, you already feel bad for Joe. And he is still my friend. Can you believe that? But anyway, enough about that crazy situation. Joe's the founder and owner of Sterling Professional CBD. Completed his undergrad in San Diego State University and his MBA in 2002 from Pepperdine University. Uh, he has run a billion-dollar business at HP Lenovo. Did I say that right? And Lenovo, yeah. Yep. Ah. Yeah. His life was changed in 2003 when his chiropractor saved him from surgery, which would have left metal and screws in his back. In 2014, he launched Sterling with the goal of providing a healthy, natural alternative to over-the-counter and prescription medications. Sterling Professional has an industry-leading lineup of 2,500 milligram CBD lotions, THC, and THC-free capsules and gels, and four great solutions for better sleep. Amen to that. Sterling Professional brings unique CBD products to your patients. They're proud to be in over 100 chiropractic offices and give back to the chiropractic community through donations to state and national chiropractic associations. Do y'all see how he went over my heart? All right. All Supporting right. the profession. And then he really went over my heart when he helped me sleep better at night. Um, so, Joe, thank you so much. This is your first time on the webinar series. Hey, thank you for having me. And uh, what a great introduction. Thank you. I think uh, I was... Uh, that got me pretty fired up. So thank you guys for, um, for everyone for joining. I'm going to share my uh, screen here and talk a little bit about um, Sterling. So this is going to be, you know, when, when uh, I, I talk to, to doctors and we, um, we have an opportunity, the first thing they ask, you know, is, um, you know, how you know what studies are the, the an efficiency or effect the effect efficiency efficacy studies um are there on cbd you know how is cbd different can is cbd you know how is the different cbds produced so really i want to talk to you a little bit about today about going a deep dive into those studies from some very reputable um um, universities and um, publications. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some some sterling products and what is selling uh, exceptionally well in uh, chiropractors and how the product mix is changing very rapidly, which is interesting. And then finally, end up with a, a bit of trivia and um, um, get an opportunity to uh, give out some um, some prizes and some. Um, <clears throat> some good product. So, so the first question I get is cannabis, marijuana, hemp, what's the difference? Like, how are they different? So, um, very simply a good analogy is that a Labrador and a Chihuahua are both canine, you know, Labradors were bred by humans for hunting, fishing, and comp companionship. You know, Chihuahuas were bred for food by the ancient Aztecs and Toltecs, and more recently, uh, annoying celebrities carry them around. So uh, just very similarly, cannabis is the species and humans have evolved and bred two very different breeds of, of uh, cannabis. One is hemp. Hemp is the product that George Washington grew, Thomas Jefferson grew. Uh, it was actually the very first crop um, grown by humans. So think about that, you know, 15,000 years ago, somebody, you know, in Southeast Turkey said, 
hey, I'm not going to go hunting today. I'm going to grow some some hemp. And all of his tribe is like, what are you talking about, grow some hemp? We need some food. Well, that's a big risk. And it turned out very well because with hemp, not only did it feed their animals and was a very fast growing uh, plant, um, but it's great for rope. It's great for clothing, great for tents, great for sandals, all of those materials that uh, humans needed in order to, uh, you know, to, to be productive. So hemp, big, huge, stocky, massive bush. Marijuana, on the other hand, was um, bred to get people high. Um, it's, a, it's a much thinner plant. And if you, the marijuana, the, what people are going for is the flower on the marijuana, which is the bud or the thing that people smoke. So um, it's a very interesting um, analysis between those two. Hemp and marijuana are the same species grown completely differently uh, with different purposes. And um, today, and all of the CBD, which is federally legal, is grown from uh, what we call industrial hemp. And industrial hemp has between zero and 3% THC. I'm sorry, between zero and 0.3% THC. It has no psychoactive effects um, of uh, lots of great purposes. And uh, that's where federally legal uh, CBD is extracted. Of course, some uh, states have uh, medical uh, marijuana and um, but there's, we have a lot of great solutions that work um, for uh, people in all the different, uh, different states and locations. So this is a study done by the National Institute of Health. And they asked uh, 2,400 um, recipients or, or respondents, why do you buy CBD? The number one um, response was for chronic pain. Uh, second was for arthritis or joint pain, then anxiety and depression, and for sleep. And then they asked them, okay, so you bought CBD, you know, how, how many um, did it work for you? And 35.8% uh, uh, said very well by itself. About 30 people said uh, moderately well by itself. Um, 30, about 30% said uh, very well in combination with conventional medicine. And then uh, 4.3 people, uh, percentage of the people said not very well. What I think is interesting is they forgot to ask well in conjunction with chiropractic medicine or chiropractic um, services, because then I am sure this 30% would have jumped. But long story short, 95.7% 95, 95 said it worked well or very well, which um, um, pretty pretty strong results. And of course, if you have any questions, um, please type them into the chat and we can uh, review those questions at the end of the presentation. And I wanna make sure that uh, I'm hitting all the important um, highlights for you guys. But great study from National Institute of Health and we have some more studies that we'll, uh, we'll bring up as we go. So Sterling Professional, you know, what is our advantage? Um, it's crazy, right? So I think the number one thing that chiropractors sell in your office is trust, right? Trust when uh, somebody comes in with that sore or not feeling good, that they're gonna walk out feeling better. You know, trust when you have somebody's head and neck in their hand doing an adjustments that, uh, that they're gonna uh, feel better. Um, and trust in any, in any product that you have or you're selling, you know, trust that that, that product is going to work. So we, uh, knowing that we only sell in chiropractic offices, Sterling Professional goes the extra mile and provides what we think is an unparalleled level of uh, trust and verification. Uh, one thing we do is we include QR codes on each product. So each of our products has this little QR code. People can snap a picture of it, takes them right to the website. Uh, and at that website, they can see all of the products third party testing. It tests for uh, the correct levels of cannabinoids. It tests uh, to make sure if it's 
THC product that there is indeed no THC in it and making sure that it has no, uh, it's organic, no heavy metals, that the crops and the products were um, uh, grown properly. Uh, kind of cool, the average uh, office sells about $6,000 a year um, of sterling. It's really easy to sell. We got some great price points and some great products. And I'm excited. Um, well, I didn't watch much Olympics uh, this winter. I'm a big Olympic fan. And the U.S., uh, kind of cool that the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency has actually approved CBD isolate for U.S. athletes. So U.S. athletes, um, you know, the premier best athletes in the world, uh, are allowed to use CBD. The um, U.S. Anti-Doping Agency has come out and said that uh, two things, that um, CBD helps uh, uh, reduce uh, pain and inflammation um, after and bef before and after a, um, a competition or a training. And they also said that it uh, reduces the um, Reduces the use of over-the-counter uh, medications. Uh, reduces the use of Advil, ibuprofen. So in an all-natural uh, solution that's easy on the stomach and easy on the uh, <clears throat> on the system. So we got uh, some great products, uh, Sterling tinctures. Um, they taste great, right? We're not just we just don't sell the uh, CBD that has that tastes like dirt, like you're like you're eating grass. Right, we put a little bit of a flavor, just a little bit of essential oils in it, whether it's uh, citrus, mint, or berry. Uh, we got some great lotions. Uh, super excited about our lotions. What's great about working with chiropractors is um, you let us know what has been working with your patients, what ingredients work with your patients, and we've created some formulas that uh, make some make a big difference for uh, your patients. Gummies have been been a big hit. Um, we have gummies, both CBD Delta 8 and some fantastic sleep gummies and then some capsules. So we got a, a full lineup of CBD product. Super excited about our lotions. We have the best lotion lineup in the industry, you know, really bar none. Um, our biggest seller in the chiropractic offices is our 2,500 milligram muscle gel. The muscle gel uh, is the hero ingredients is menthol for cooling. It's got a, a capsaicin, which is, of course, the compound in peppers that uh, make them hot. Camphor oil, organic aloe, um, muscle um, sea foam or metal, metal foam sea, uh, seed oil. One of my favorites is the uh, CBD plus magnesium balm. We use magnesium from the Dead Sea, magnesium chloride. It has Arnica, vitamin C, some great uh, additional ingredients here. And then some really nice uh, relaxing uh, lavender lotion with lavender rose petal. So <clears throat> the difference is lavender is great for relaxing. The magnesium balm is great, gets rid of cramps very uh, exceptionally, especially with the CBD and magnesium combination. And then the muscle gel is great uh, before and after workouts to uh, relax the uh, partners are the patients and what's great too we got the best lotion lineup our pricing is unmatched so you look at some of the competitors pricing in here you know sterling has um the sterling beats them with this is we have our 2500 milligram cbd lotion retails for 49.95 you compare that to any of the market other uh, other brands. A thousand milligram lotions are going for you know 50, 51 to ninety bucks. So we got uh, better pricing. What's been amazing and what my team has been uh, uh, has been fascinating to watch is really there's a new pandemic out there, and that pandemic is sleep. So not only were Americans already poor sleepers uh, with poor sleep patterns prior to go COVID, there's been some great studies out of the Cleveland C Clinic, Frontiers in Neuroscience, National Institute of Health, and many more publications 
that talk about the impact of COVID and how it has affected people's sleep patterns. So for instance, hospitalized COVID patients were five times more likely to suffer from total sleep dep deprivation compared to non-COVID-19 patients. So if you have COVID, it makes your sleep patterns five times worse. In addition, people that had poor sleep patterns in the first place were more likely to have more severe outcomes from COVID-19. So if you have poor sleep patterns, COVID is gonna be worse. And if you have COVID, you're not gonna sleep. You're gonna sleep worse in the future. Third is a uh, COVID-19 sleep medicine virus attack central nervous system uh, directly here uh, adhesion to ACE2 inhibitors in different parts of the CNS. So basically uh, the, the root, root cause of why uh, COVID affects those sleep patterns. So sleep is so critical, so important. And the pandemic is not only people not getting enough sleep, but the other pandemic is people buying Ambien right? People buying products that uh, don't, um, or, or prescription products that their medical doctors are prescribing them that aren't necessarily organic and healthy and the best products for them. So really in the last, I'd say six months, um, our best-selling products has evolved to our sleep, med uh, our sleep lineup. We have uh, three fantastic sleep products. One is our THC-free sleep capsule. It has 25 milligrams of CBD, five milligrams of CBN. CBN is a, another cannabinoid like THC, like CBD, that is known for reducing the noise in the brain, helps you slow down a little bit. It has 10 milligrams of melatonin. It also has valerian root. Um, it has... Um, Pepperin, it's got a lot of other great natural uh, products in there that will help people to go, to go to sleep with no THC. We've got a really nice Delta-8 sleep gummy, which uh, Christy's a big fan of. Um, they have 12.5 milligrams of Delta-8 THC. They also have CBD and CBN in them. And this is really our most potent sleep solution. What's great about the 12.5 milligrams of Delta-8 it's enough to slow the brain down, but it, you know, definitely is not, uh, won't get you high. And um, it's it's a great natural calming uh, product that uh, helps people fall asleep and stay asleep. And then finally, uh, another great product that we recently launched is D9 Mango Sleep Gummies. So this has eight milligrams of Delta 9. Again, 25 milligrams of CBD, 12.5 milligrams of CBDN. So uh, some states prefer Delta-8, some states prefer Delta-9, just depending on uh, the rules and regulations of the state. Uh, the Delta-9 is legal everywhere. It still has 0.3% THC levels, keeping it under that federal level. And it's really the perfect sleep solution for, uh, for people. And I pass these out. I give out samples um, at, uh, at events and shows and... Um, People are super excited about the uh, the product. Super excited about how it helps them go to sleep. How it they are, they're able to wake up refreshed, and are able to um, you know attack the next day. So, in addition to the gummies, we got some pretty fantastic um, specialized uh, capsules. You know, we talked about the sleep capsules with the Maypop, melatonin, CBD, valerian root. We talked about that on the sleep uh, page. But this is a pretty cool product, too. We call it, you know, this is CBD for athletes or for, um, you know, to help people uh, and um, reduce their, uh, their pain or uh, post-workout uh, recovery. Not only does it have the uh, CBD in it, but it has glucosamine, cat's claw, Boswella, curcumin, white willow, MSN, chondroitin. So a really nice formulation that um, 
supplements what the CBD does. CBD is an amazing product and it really helps people. And we've seen some great uh, effects of uh, CBD, but when you combine it with some proven compounds that have been in use for you know decades, it really makes a nice solution that you know combines, I think, the best of the best. Um, so we got uh, Delta-8 THC. So what is Delta-8 THC? Your entire uh, life when you've grown up, you've heard of THC, right? Which is a compound traditionally in marijuana that uh, got people high, traditionally associated with marijuana. Well, that THC is actually the Delta-9 THC. This Delta-8 THC is a little bit softer. It's made from hemp. So it's federally legal and it um, really has, it's less aggressive than the Delta 9, but it has some really nice calming effects. Many people say without um, some of the paranoia or some of the other uh, um, adverse effects from, um, I would say large doses of uh, Delta 9 THC. But uh, many doctors uh, prescribe this for just helping uh, some of their patients uh, relax, calm down, uh, and um, really helps them enjoy um, stressful days in a, uh, in a much better way. Uh, so we talked about the different flavors of our, of our uh, tinctures. We got berry, citrus, mint. We have 1,000, 1,500, 3,000, and 6,000 milligram. And the pricing, once again, is untouchable. Like, I've, uh, I've done my homework. The team's done our homework. We know what the competition is doing. We know how to undercut them. We know some, uh, we run a, a lean and mean operation and we're able to provide what we think is best in class products at best in class pricing. And you are, you know, you're making a uh, good margin on these. And these are, pro again, Sterling professionals sold only in professional offices uh, with some unique blends uh, and product. Uh, and then the pricing, well, I'm, I won't bore you with the pricing, but ours is really good. Uh, in addition to the providing great product at a great price, you know, we Sterling really prides ourselves in continuing to build the trust uh, with uh, not only your patients but with you and your doctors and your offices. So we we have a number of what we think is best in class um, uh, programs. Uh, number one is uh, ongoing uh, monthly training uh, for your office uh, that we do a webinar, can do some additional training. Your team can learn about our new products. And uh, we make it quick and fun and uh, reward your team members for joining. Second thing we do, which is kind of cool, is our quick start program, where we actually create uh, Facebook ads and partnership promoting you and your Sterling products to um, your local area. We're starting to get um, we're starting to get pretty good at this, where we actually take our ads, go out and uh, use Facebook do some geolocation ads and help drive people into your practice, promoting not only Sterling uh, and the products that we sell, but also promoting you as a top tier chiropractor in your uh, local geography. Uh, so in a nutshell, you know, why would uh, anyone wanna work with us? Uh, we got fantastic pricing, fantastic product, we have an unrivaled, uh, dedicated customer service team and uh, with real strong innovation. So uh, pretty, pretty strong uh, portfolio here. So now we are going to jump into a quick trivia question, which I think is fascinating. So the question is, does the United States government have a CBD patent? How many hands up who think they do? Okay. 
Okay. And then hands down, and they, how many think they don't? All right. Thank you for those of you who voted. Um, when I go into this or this entire presentation, I, of course, can't claim that Sterling Professional um, cures any or prevents any disease. I can't say that it uh, helps with, um, you know, any um, long-term or severe chronic illness. I can't say it. I am just simply going to show you uh, what is on the government's website uh, for the U.S. Patent Office, because yes, indeed, there is a U.S. government patent on CBD. So not only is it amazing that there is a U.S. patent on CBD that's issued to the Department of Health and Human Services, but what's more amazing is the person who applied for the patent is Nobel laureate Julius Axelrod. And what's interesting about Julius Axelrod, besides having just the greatest name ever, uh, Julius Axelrod also patented a drug called Prozac. So let me repeat that. The same person who patented Prozac for, I think it was Eli Lilly, also patented CBD for the United States government. Maybe somebody who knows a little bit about the brain. Maybe somebody who knows a little bit about the way neurotransmitters work. Somebody who knows, you know, what can uh, have some insight into what causes, you know, mental illness or, or mental depression or mental degradation. So uh, it's fascinating. And again, this is, uh, I'm not claiming this, but we're actually going to see, we're going to, I'm going to take you to the website from the U.S. Patent Office. And on this U.S. Patent, which was issued October 7th, 2003, uh, the United States Patent to Julius Axelrod from the assignee United States of America as represented by the Department of Health and Human Services. So this is 2003, right? This is when you couldn't even grow hemp when any, any uh, products that you were growing or any uh, cannabis that you were growing was scheduled in the same um, classification as heroin. What does this patent say about uh, CBD and cannabinoids as antioxidants and neuroprotectants? Again, disclaimer, this is not Joe Kryzak saying what Sterling does with CBD. This is Joe Kryzak merely um, reading off information from the United States Patent Office. Uh, in short, it says that cannabinoids are useful in the treatment of a wide variety of associated diseases, age-related, inflammatory, and autoimmune diseases. Wait a minute. It helps with age-related autoimmune, autoimmune diseases, inflammatory. So not only that, cannabinoids are found to have a particular application as neuroprotectants, limiting neuro neurologic uh, damage, such as stroke and trauma, or in the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and HIV dementia. So this is the United States saying that their CBD and cannabinoids as a whole have some pretty impressive effects on the brain, some pretty effective um, help and uh, preventative um, um, attributes that will uh, can help the brain and very strong neuroprotective anti-accidents uh, formula. So this really harks back to, believe it or not, why does CBD or cannabinoids have 
these amazing, or why does the United States of America say that CBD has these amazing um, components and um, attributes? Well, it really it harks back to the first guy who decided to uh, grow hemp. What happened was they were growing hemp. It was fed to their animals. The CBD, the cannabinoids entered the animals. Then the humans started eating, uh, of course, eating the animals. And they found that um, there's actually um, human human biology and human the digestive system. And it must have happened even before that guy planting. But there are actually some pretty cool um, there's a pretty cool system in your body called the endocannabinoid system. When I went to school, you know, in high school years ago, you know, there was a digestive system, the circulatory system, the nervous system, you know, the many different systems. But what they didn't have is I didn't know about is there's an endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system is a system specifically designed to accept uh, cannabinoids into your body. And helps you. Um, it, it helps in many ways. It's almost like a thermostat for many functions of your body. So, uh, if I wanted to get one thing out of this um, uh, this presentation today, you know, the one thing I wanted to get out is that CBD is not a um, is not the latest snake oil. It has some amazing proven um attributes whether it's by the u.s uh, government or the latest oregon state university study that had some strong um statements about how certain types of cannabinoids prevent covid to the amazing patterns of how it can help out sleep um, this particular product cannabis cannabinoids as a whole you know cbd uh, light doses of thc full spectrum, broad spectrum. This product is specifically, I think more than any other product, is designed for the chiropractor industry. It's natural, it's organic, it's healthy. It prevents a lot of bad, well, the government says it prevents a lot of bad things from happening. It helps people um, between uh, visits feel better, get better sleep, live a healthier life, and um, I'm a big proponent of the chiropractic industry. I'm a big proponent of uh, cannabinoids. And I think there's a really good marriage there between what uh, chiropractors bring to the table. Been life-changing for me. Uh, so thank you for all you do for uh, your patients, all you do to improve the health of the population in general. So thank you for that. And I, I would suggest that if you're interested in bringing in CBD or bringing in products that really make sense and align to what the chiropractic space is about, CBD is a very natural fit. And if CBD is a very natural fit, uh, Sterling has built these systems and infrastructure to make us uh, and uh, give us an advantage and be uniquely qualified to be um, a partner with uh, with you in your offices. So thank you for listening. And good news, Christy, I went a little bit under. I usually you go a little bit over, but today I went a little bit under. Well, you know what, our uh, audience doesn't mind when that happens. It just means they're going to get a lunch break today. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a couple of questions. Um, are there any contraindications for using CBD? So according to the World Health Organization, um, no. But we do see that there are, um, I would suggest people on uh, heavy blood thinners, uh, CBD might not be the best. Um, I, I wouldn't give them to people on heavy uh, blood thinners just because it does have a natural, uh, slightly blood thinning uh, element to it. So um, according to the w WHO, no. According to Joe Kryzak, um, just, just that. 
Okay. Our next question is, is the patent global or only in America? Uh, this patent is issued to the United States of America Health and Human Services by the United States. So I do not know if there are patents in other countries that um, if CB is patented in the, in the other country. I imagine it is, but uh, I do not know for sure. But it's a good question. Okay. Why would you use D8 and CBD at the same time and not separately? Um, that's a great question. So the cannabis plant as a whole, right, originally had both strong components of CBD and THC in it. When you combine the two, D8 and, and um, CBD together, Delta-8 is more for, uh, it's more psychoactive. You know, it relaxes the brain. CBD um, is more physical, right? So CBD, the, the CBD that we're using in that particular compound has no psychoactive effects, but it really helps um, relax the body. It helps reduce inflammation and makes for a, a real nice um, body relaxation where the D8 slows down the mind just enough where um, you're able to fall asleep. So it's a it's a win-win scenario, mind and body. Um, does Sterling own and operate the complete vertical for their products, or is this a white label product from a specific farm in the US? Uh, both. So we do uh, have uh, our own farm, our own production, uh, but we do uh, certain products we do um, purchase and white label, depending on, you know, if there's efficiencies that of a particular um, production facility, and maybe they have better gummy um, producing machines that we do, or can produce more than we do, and, and there's there's a, <clears throat> then we can go to them. With that being said, all of our formulations are sterling formulations. We do contract manufacturing. I wouldn't call it white labeling. I'd more say it contract manufacturing because we are the ones that determine exactly what will be in each of our products. And we're not just buying white shell, uh, white label off the shelf product. We're actually going out and, say, and doing our research for, for instance, our sleep products. We came up with a great formulation. We did, did our research on, you know, who makes the best gummy, who's you know, going to provide us with the certificates of analysis, with the quality that's needed, with the um, product availability, the right taste. And so we do do, uh, we do do that also. So a uh, little, little bit of both. Um, are chiropractors in the state of New York legally allowed to sell products containing CBD? Um, CBD is legal everywhere. It can be sold across um, every state. Uh, I do know of certain chiropractic associations, which could, uh, which do frown on their members selling CBD. Um, Washington State comes to mind, uh, where they they the the office or the association says just sell the lotions. Uh, Utah has some restrictions on some products, uh, but with that said, it is legal to be sold uh, anywhere and uh, can be shipped across a uh, border, can be shipped across state lines, and is completely legal to be sold anywhere. So the answer is it is legal to be sold. Okay. Um, I thought there were low concentrations of CBD in the marijuana plant. Is this correct? There are low concentrations of CBD in the marijuana plant that marijuana growers are trying to uh, weed out for being a, make a little pun there because the total amount of cannabinoids um, is there's a finite amount of cannabinoids, all cannabinoids, whether it's THC, CBD, CBN, CBG, CBC, whatever, you know, there's 115 of them. 
They all come from a compound called CBGA. CBJA is the mother or the uh, parent is the first cannabinoid that the plant produces. And then from that CBGA, it produces, you know, all those different compounds. So what marijuana producers do is they want all that CBGA to be uh, turned into THC and to maximize the amount of THC in their, um, their flower and minimize the amount of CBD because they'd much rather have the THC in there uh, than the CBD. So there is naturally occurring uh, THC or CBD in uh, marijuana plants. There's, a, I'm sure every marijuana plant has some components of the 115 um, cannabinoids, but as breeders continue to grow and improve, they're gonna continue to weed out the CBD where from a CBD perspective, uh, you know, from hemp, we see that there's huge value in, a, in low doses of THC. We think it is an amazing product. We think it has great attributes and really helps out people. So we want to combine CBD, the rest of the cannabinoids, with just enough THC where people are, aren't getting high and, and, um, and, but just enough to, to calm down the, uh, the nervous system a little bit. Excellent. If y'all have any more questions, please go ahead and pop them in the chat box and let us know. Um, just a reminder, next week, our guest is Dr. Miles Bodson. We're going to be talking about simplifying the patient. No surprises at the must attend event. The following week, we're going to have a marketing masterclass with Dr. Mark Sena, and we're going to kick off the first um, webinar in April and rest assured, regardless of what it looks like on the website, I am not the only um, person speaking, but April the 5th is going to be protecting your team from patient sexual harassment. So just know that this is not the usual sexual harassment. One hour class you're required to get for your CE. In fact, there is no CE. Um, you guys know all that fun stuff. What we're going to do is what do you actually do if you or one of your employees is sexually harassed by a patient and how to um, and what to do in that situation. Oh, another question. How long has Starling been producing their products? So a uh, great, great question. We started in 2014 when I was in corporate America. We had a farm in California that was selling um, cannabis products to dispensaries in California. So it was more of the, um, the, the marijuana grow that we were doing out there. 2018, when um, the U.S. Farm Bill was passed and CBD became legal, um, I opted to leave uh, Amazon and go with really what my passion was, was to, um, you know, launch the Sterling brand and and provide the, the, the products that, that people are looking for. So officially 2014, uh, our CBD and our professional lineup has been out for uh, since 2018. Excellent. Now you will also, um, I just posted the website and an email address, which is highlighted here on the screen. Um, but I happen to know that you are at a lot of chiropractic events. So Joe, if they wanted to meet you in person and see what uh, products you have, where are you going to be in the next couple of months? So I got a, um, my next one is a great question. I'll be in uh, North Carolina, Asheville, uh, end of this month. And uh, soon after that, I'll be in Virginia. And North Carolina and Virginia are two of my uh, best um, um, you know, top rated uh, locations. Great, great customer base there. Uh, we're going to be in Alaska in October. We're going to be in Washington State in October, uh, working with the uh, Utah, Texas, and Florida teams to uh, align with us uh, in those uh, locations. And then, um, you know, we are, um, and there's some others, Georgia, you know, Illinois, that are that are uh, working with us also. So. Uh, but in the next couple months, we're going to be um, in uh, Virginia, North Carolina. Um, that's really in the next 30 days. 
All right, so for my state association people who were on this webinar today, I see you. I'm not going to call you out. But if you're interested in having Joe at your state association event, make sure you email him and reach out to him so we can maybe add him as a vendor. I'm so excited that you're going to Alaska. I'm trying to convince everybody to come with me to Alaska in October. <laughs> I know it, right? I'm looking forward to it, too. Uh, I mean, uh, my like... My bucket list is to go on a uh, a helicopter and like land on a glacier. Like how cool would that be? Like that literally be land on a glacier. Well, you got to reach out to Sherry and she'll tell you all the cool stuff to do while we're there. Yeah. This is my year, everybody. This is my year where I'm finally going to see the Northern Lights. Because y'all know what happens is they are visible up until the day I fly in. And then it gets overcast. <laughs> and it has happened for a decade. All right. A decade but anyway so this is going to be the year so just a reminder i posted the links so that you could go and sign up for the upcoming webinars we've got a bunch of webinars posted for may as well and then to all the ladies out there happy international women's day happy anniversary or happy women's day that's awesome i'm super excited what's in alaska in october um Dr. Edward, it's the Alaska Chiropractic Society Biannual Convention, which is crazy because we haven't done it in four years. It's also the 50th anniversary of their state association. It's a really great event. Um, and I can remember when I started going there over a decade ago, it was like me and maybe 10 or 12 vendors. And I think they're capping it at 40 this year because did I mention I keep inviting everybody? <laughs> Uh, so that's what, we lo that's what we love about you, Christy. You're, uh, you, the party follows you. So I try, I love it. So that's okay. Cause next year we're all going to the combine too. Right. Did y'all see on my social post? I would love my NFL chiropractors gave me the most amazing early birthday present. And it was a football signed by all of them. And I love it so very much. And I had fun. And I met people there that were in the NFL, but don't ask me who they are because I don't watch football. So unless you're a chiropractor in the NFL, I have no idea who you are, which is basically what happened. I became, oh, you're Christy, the girl who knows nothing about football. Um, so I just want to say we got a couple of people um, that said, thank you. This was very informative. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I uh, try my best to bring... Um, some of the science and uh, information in there that uh, help uh, help the, out the industry as a whole. And uh, I am truly thankful to chiropractic industry as a whole, or else uh, I'd be in a wheelchair. So God bless you guys, and thanks for all that you do. I feel the same way. Gosh, I love you guys. So here's what we got coming up. Miles, Mark, I'm not the only person in April. We have more people. Your stuff is late. We're going to have them posted soon. Um, and then we got my dear friend, Cindy Howard, and Sherry McAllister, and Mario Fushineri. And we're super excited because um, we have a lot of great topics that are coming up in the next couple of months. So make sure y'all visit the webinars page often. I've got another one that I have to update in here. Um, hopefully it's for April and not for June, but you never know. And... That is a wrap for today. So you know the rules, guys. We end in 15 minutes early, which means no doing paperwork. Do not answer the phone. Keep your door closed to your office. Don't let your team know that you are off your weekly webinar. Just sit back, relax, and breathe, and enjoy the next 12 minutes before you have to see your next patient. Y'all have an amazing rest of your day and a fabulous week. And I can't wait until we're back here, same time, same place, next week with our guest, Dr. Miles Bodson. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. Thank you.